remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. My friends, let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you and with your spirit. We come together this day, really the kind of in, in a way the last day of Lent, the last day we wear purple, the last day before we begin the Triduum. But it is still the beginning, the beginning of our focus, of our waking up in this springtime to the coming of the Lord. Let us see ourselves in this moment, this transitional and transformational moment. Let us look to the Lord for what he will come and do. He will suffer and die, but he will do so for our sins, and he will rise from the dead for us as well. Let us turn to the Lord now and willingly, humbly, and courageously share our need for forgiveness of sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled and have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help, who will prove who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. 
For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. To you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life, Son of God, who leads us to freedom, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never had been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The great focus is usually the backstory of Judas and that dynamic in that moment, that pinnacle, apex moment at the very end where he almost with cynicism and a sneer on his face would have said, surely it is not I, Rabbi. And Jesus, as he would say again, you have said so. Quite often our own words, even their subtle undertone, are what convict us. But I want to focus on something slightly different this morning, going earlier in the gospel. Maybe because of this season, this year, this crisis, which has us all listening and watching from home. And that will be the case throughout this triduum, sadly enough, and throughout the octave of Easter. Maybe when Jesus sends the disciples to tell a certain man, the, pa the master wants to celebrate in your home Maybe that's a message for us this year. None of us, none of you can depend upon the, the chorus and choir to lift the voices. None of us, none of you can depend upon the silence of everyone around you to draw you into the prayer, even though your own mind may wander. None of us can fully experience how the church would be de decorated. None of us can see that many lilies in our own living room. But the Lord says, through his disciples, through the church right now, through the circumstance, the Lord wishes to celebrate in your home. You have some time. Prepare yourself. Prepare your home. Invite your family. Encourage your family. These wonderful moments via the internet are great. But I worry, come Sunday morning, Easter morning, that few, few more than normal, I guess, will tune in. Prepare your home, invite your family, your neighbor, the same way you would expect to gather, if only by internet, so that your home might be prepared to celebrate Easter with the Lord. 
Let us now offer our prayers of petition for the world around us. We pray for Pope Francis. May God continue to fill his heart with love and his words with wisdom as he leads the church through these challenging times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for elected leaders. May the passion of Christ inspire them in making good choices in these challenging days for those whom they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who live with painful illnesses. In a particular way, we recall those who are suffering from this COVID virus and those who care for them. May they experience God's comfort, healing, and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered in this way virtually today, with the help of God's grace, may we continue to grow in faith and in unity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have died. In St. Monica Parish, Margot Haig recently passed away. And the intention of this Mass is Betty Heen. May all who have gone before us rejoice in the salvation earned for us by the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you sent your only Son to be our Savior in faith and in hope, asking the intercession of St. Eugene and St. Monica. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that, celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are fast approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Blessed is he who 
all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Eat this bread and drink of this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Eugene and Saint Monica, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Friends, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. As you can, share a sign of peace with one another. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As a communion meditation, let us together make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining in this way this morning. Uh, we enter the Triduum tomorrow. Uh, we will, uh, between the two parishes, again live stream all the different the key services uh, s tomorrow night. So there's no morning mass tomorrow on Holy Thursday. Never is. So tomorrow night at 7 p.m. we will live stream the Mass of the Lord's Supper, the institution of the Eucharist and of the priesthood. Then on Friday, we will live stream the Good Friday service. It's a word service, and that will be at 3 p.m. On Saturday, in the evening, the vigil, the Easter vigil, we will live stream at 8.30 p.m. And then on Easter morning, we will live stream a Mass for during the day on Easter at 8 a.m. So follow our different emails and check our website and my, you know, the different social media, mine and the parishes. 
uh, as well. The churches, both our parishes, will still be open for private prayer throughout the Triduum. Please respect social distancing, and uh, we make some requests to mark where you've sat. And uh, use on, uh, on my YouTube channel, or uh, excuse me, through the parish, stme.church, you can find the Stations of the Cross to pray, or you can find uh, the Mysteries of the Rosary to pray. Please do make those a part of your day. And lastly, on noon on Easter Sunday, we are encouraging, the Archbishop is asking all the bells be rung throughout the Archdiocese. We are encouraging everyone to go out on their front porch, their front step, their front walk, and ring bells and maybe sing Jesus Christ is risen today. Do so in your neighborhood, with your neighbors, with your family, with your friends, a sign of wonderful celebration. Make the most of these days. The Lord is asking to celebrate this year in our homes. Let us be good and worthy hosts. Bow your heads now and pray for God's blessings. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come that persevering in the sacraments of, your, of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.